Anthony and I packed up the trailer and traveled six hours to Tulsa for the annual USA BMX Vintage Bike Show, Racing, Museum Tour, and National BMX Hall of Fame Ceremony. Hey, hey, this is the party. This is where the party's happening. Y'all ready for the party? Because this is the party. Hi, this is Shan Gillette with the USA BMX. We're out here at the BMX Hall of Fame weekend and events. We got vintage racing, vintage bike show, side hack championship wrapping up from the series here at the local track. All kinds of good stuff going on. A lot of awesome bikes, race, freestyle, tons of tons of different years. Got some flatland going on this year. It's an awesome event. You know, everyone's digging what we've been doing with the museum and the HQ and all that. And uh, you know, if you're looking at it for next year on the calendar, we're about halfway for everybody. We're right in the middle of the United States, so come on out. It's a good mix. You know, we got people from all over. It's a pretty, pretty good mix from around the country. So. Hope to see you guys one of these years. What do you think of those bikes, Anthony? I think these are fantastic. This JMC is amazing. And it's a shadow, too. See those pedals? Yeah, yeah very nice. I think this red line square back is off the chain. The nickel, nickel finish on it, Ashabula stem, and look at the tread left on these tires. B1 rims. Oh yeah, this is my day. This is what I was riding. That's just cool. The bike show was off the charts once again this year. There were some amazing bikes on display, including brands like Patterson, Mongoose, Redline, Hutch, and RRS. Hey, well, welcome to Radmatic. I'm Rob Lane, and this is my Redline collection. As you can see, I really like focusing on the professional riders like John Cruz, Greg Grubb, Stu Thompson, Hill, Dennis Dane. I invite you guys to take a look around, and uh, every one of these bikes are built with a lot of love, a lot of attention. Some of them take a long time to build, some of them just come together really quick. And once in a while, I get lucky, and I get a gentleman like Jeff Cosmala that gives me the cruiser to take around and show. And we got Martin Aparello's 82 Pro Line, as well as Stewart's Pro Line back there and his 74 square back. There's a bunch of bikes here to take a peek at. Hope you guys enjoy it and have a great day. Rob Lane's bikes are works of art. He creates these amazing replica bikes to pay homage to the legendary Redline riders from the early days of BMX. Rob's Redline mobile display is gigantic. He takes his trailer full of Redline bikes and memorabilia around the country to dozens of vintage BMX shows throughout the year.
I'm David Ramey. I'm the, the monkey for the Torker Sight Hack team. Uh, we're out here at the, the Vintage National at Hardesty uh, BMX. Here with uh, our Torker collection, showing off some of the history of Torker, showing off some of uh, the new products. Uh, we got the new uh, Barbarian 2 and uh, four other models dropping uh, this Wednesday. The new models, uh, we have pretty wide range. Uh, we have uh, uh, the LPF, which is our uh, freestyle frame set. Uh, it comes in short and long. Uh, we have the Barbarian 2, which comes in a 24, a 26, and a 29 inch. Those two sets are uh, chrome only. Uh, then we also have the LP Race. Uh, that's coming in uh, Pro, Pro XL, and Double X. Uh, then we also have the MX26 the, and the MX29. Uh, those three models, they're going to come in Chrome, Black, uh, Candy Red, and Candy Blue. So they got a little bit more options than we had on the first drop. Uh, be able to build up the torque of your dreams. The crowd enjoyed an awesome flatland session followed by a very cool bunny hop competition. sister company with Supercross and Speedline we had access to all the best parts in BMX so just to kind of uh, kind of do a flex really we got carbon bars carbon forks carbon cranks uh, the floorboards carbon uh, just really the best of the best that you can have and you know on a side hack it's it's excessive but you know we want to we want to make it a good show there were several motos of side hacks. The final qualifiers competed for the Side Hack Championship Series title. The highlight of this event is always the National BMX Hall of Fame Museum. This was my second time visiting the museum and I could spend hours in this place. It really feels like a homecoming to see the eras of BMX from the early 1970s all the way to the U.S. Olympic team displays. There are so many amazing, iconic bikes and brands on display here at the museum. Craig Gork Barrett is the curator of this museum and talk about a dream job. Gork has done a professional caliber job creating the displays and content.
you need me to say. These are the boys right here. Notice I'm pointing at them and me. And, <laughs> and we're here to do what we need to do. And let's uh, hopefully uh, Anthony Sewell is resting in heaven. There was some great racing, including elite women's pro Peyton Reidenauer riding her Mongoose California Special Replica. Jay Oaks cleaned up in cruiser racing on his vintage Boss Cruiser. Even Texan legend Rusty Roberts was looking good on his 1979 Powerlight three bar cruiser. It was also cool to see Matt Minard out there on David Noonan's custom 1975 Yamaha motorbike. This Yamaha is undoubtedly the oldest bike to compete on the Hardesty Arena track. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Radmatic. We have more clunker and BMX builds in the shop ready to work on. Also, check out our Super Rad BMX podcast here on Radmatic. You can also find Super Rad BMX podcast on all the best podcast platforms. Hey Radmatic fans, check out radmatic.com for cool BMX and cycling t-shirts and apparel. We have plenty to choose from with more in development. Celebrate the vintage days of BMX racing. Proudly display your enthusiasm for all things BMX and cycling. Each shirt comes in multiple colors and sizes. Buying shirts at radmatic.com is one way you can help support this channel. Until next time, stay rad and keep doing it in the dirt.